What's up guys, I haven't posted a build video in a while, so I thought let's just go over every single Pokemon that I think is the best build and explain the builds to you guys, also different movesets. And if you guys enjoy this content, I would really like if you subscribe to my channel and like this video. So first up, we have Absurd, of course. I'm gonna go into alphabetic order, obviously you're gonna have the chapters as well on there, so you guys can skip towards the Pokemon you want to see. We have Nice Sucker Punch, the best two moves for Absol straight four, and then we have Scopeland's Razor Claw, which I think are the two locked-in items. And for the third one, I currently prefer Attack Rate, but there's multiple items. You can also still play Buddy Bear, your Focus Band, or even Muscle Band, but I like Attack Rate the most. And then for better item, I go Eject Button. I think Full Heal can also be an option, but I do prefer the Eject Button over it, so Absol build. For Egg Slash, we play Sacred Zone White Guard, currently the best build on this Pokemon, with Muscle Band Attack Rate. I think I like those the most, but there's multiple different builds you can do in this Pokemon. And Buddy Berry as well, I think. Buddy Berry is kind of just like, if you don't have it, you just die going into your Unite move. But I also like Focus Band. It's like, I would either go Focus Band or Buddy Barrier for one defensive item. And then for this one, you can either go Weakness Policy, you can go Scope Lens. I mean, yeah, we can actually, I mean, don't go Scope Lens. You can go Razor Claw. There's more different things you can do for this Pokemon. Um, I think even Cookie Attack Bay can be a fine thing. But honestly, I like this build the most currently. We have the Muscle Band, we have the Attack Weight, and then either Buddy Barrier or Focus Band I like the most. And for better item, I would recommend Full Heal, but Eject Button's also totally fine. I even tried some X Attack, which I also think is very good. Those are options you can go, but Full Heal is probably the best one. Then we have Azubare. We have Whirlpool and Waterpool currently being the best build. I would pretty much always play Attack Weight, has pretty good scalings, and it kind of just makes Azumarill do damage. Then Scope Lens, I mean, everything of your crits, you pretty much just play Scope Lens for the 12% increased crit damage which is already like quite a big damage increase. And for the last item, I personally like Energy Imp a lot right now, but there's another thing. You can go Focus Band, you can go Muscle Band, you can go Weakness Policy. All those are totally fine options. Um, Muscle Band too, but for now, I kind of like the Energy Imp a lot. It's, all, it's almost all about spamming Unite Move a lot, right? It has pretty low cool on the Unite Move as well, so it helps a lot. And for better item, I like X Speed the most. I think it's just the most consistent one. In this bit, you don't really have move speed. If you play Play Rough, you don't have to go X Speed, but I would still recommend Aqua Puls, uh, Water Puls for now. And yeah, so X Speed kind of just allows you to stick to targets. For Blastoise, the best bit, I think it's still Water Spot Rapid Spin, even after the nerfs to it, with now Body Barrier, Focus Spin, and Special Specs is what I like the most. And for battle items, the Eject Button. It's just Eject Button is no brain on Blastoise. Um, this is the best build for sure. Even after the nerfs, you can also still go Energy Amp necessarily much, but the Unite Damage got nerfed quite a lot, so I would not necessarily recommend it anymore. You could also go Choice Specs if you don't like Focus Band, Body Barrier, and Special Specs, I would still always go. The other ones, like this one, slot is, you can change out. And if you really want to play Hydro Pump Surf, Hydro Pump got a buff, right? You can just switch this for Muscle Band and have a Surf Hydro Pump build. For Blissey, I, th I think the best build now is Softbird X and Egg Bomb. Softbird X got a huge buff in the last patch together with Egg Bomb, it heals so much now. Um, you can go some different items, Buddy Barrier Special Specs I think is very good. And for the last one, it can be Focus Band. It can be Choice Specs for even more healing, because the heal is based off Special Attack as well. So the more Special Attack you have, the more you will heal. So just having a bit more Special Attack can be also very nice. Vice Glass is the same. Um, maybe even better than Choice Specs, because you even get more Special Attack, right? Or you just go for your Glasses, which I think is totally fine. But I think this is probably the more consistent build. And then you can either go double or triple glasses. All of those are totally fine. And for a battle item, I would recommend X Speed. I think X Speed fits Blissey quite well. Eject Button is also totally fine. But you don't have Helping Hand in this build, so X Speed is going to help you quite a lot. And for Sherizard, I think the best build still is Flamethrower Flyer Blast, even though there's a current different build of Old Swirl, which I will cover later today. Later, I will have a different Sherizard video with a different build. But I think this is still the best build with Muscle Band Scope Lens. And the last item can be anything. I think Focus Band is the most consistent one, right? But you can also go Greed and go Attack Weight. It can snowball games very hard. But Focus Band is more consistent. Attack Weight can be used as well. Or Weakness Policy, also totally fine. Um, but without attack rate, it's, it, it's for sure much, much less effective. And for better item, I would always recommend full here on Charizard. You have enough move speed, you don't really need a jack button necessarily. Just being able to not be CC'd in teamfight, getting a unite move out is just very, very important. So, yeah. For Cinder is the best bit is the Blaze Kick and Flame Charge with head items, Master Band, Scope Lens, and Body Barrier, and better item. Full heal is just the best on Sundays. You can also, again, the third slot is always open. You can go Focus Band. You also can go even more damage with Razor Claw or Attack Weight. Razor Claw more consistent because you don't have to stack. 15 poor attack and 2% more crit is very nice on Sundays. Attack Weight if you're feeling very greedy. Otherwise, if you just want to be safer, I personally still run Buddy Barrier because I think it's just very important when you get jumped on, you get your Unite move out and just cheat yourself a bit. Otherwise, Focus Band for some early game trading. And it's, it's like Focus Band is just a good item for early game on junglers, right? It's good on the first B fight. It's good on the first Dreadnought fight. It's pretty much what you take it for. Later on, it will not get much value because you probably will just die through it a lot of times on squishies. So yeah, those are options you can go on scenarios. 
Then we have Cromorant. Currently the best build is Air Slash and Dive. He can go jungle or lane. And then we have Choice Specs, Buddy Barrier, I think are pretty much locked in for this Pokemon. And for third item, currently a lot of people play Vice Glasses in this build. But I think you can also go Energy Amplifier. I think it's also pretty, pretty good on this Pokemon with this build. Uh, but this is currently the standard one. And for better item, Eject Button still. You could in theory go, go X Attack. I don't think it's too bad either. But just being able to Unite or like to Eject Button during your Unite move is quite, quite strong to reposition. And I think that just makes Eject Button still a tiny bit better. For Krasse, we have Shell Smash and Ixis is currently the best build with Scope Lens, Razor Claw, Attack Bait. That's why I play an Eject Button. Yes, it looks kind of funky, but I think it's actually the best build. You can also go something more... You know, non-crit-like, like weakness policy and focus band also totally works if you don't want to rely on the crits. It also has very consistent damage. It's a bit more consistent, but I think the chance of just being able to one-shot someone can just straight up the new games quite, quite hard. And for better item, I think I always eject button. For the Sigiwai, we have Spirit Shekel and Shadow Sneaks to the best build. I would recommend playing this. I'm Razor Leaf is fine, but Shadow Shekel just does a bit more. It's also super good at securing objectives. It has very early game power spikes. Uh, I personally run Muscle Band, Attack Band, and Focus Band. Muscle Band, just for some auto attack damage, also helps you to clear jungle camps early on because your auto attack damage is quite, quite low late, uh, early on as Rowlet. Attack Rate, just to have a chance of snowballing games, you will not always stack it, but I still think just to have it is already like sometimes you will just win new games straight up. And then we have Focus Band, third item, also just for early game. Don't necessarily have to go, you can also go maybe Razor Claw for like 15 more attack. But I would still recommend the Focus Band just for at least some survivability. And for better item, you can go Eject Button, what's, what I like the most, but you can also go X Speed. I just think if you go X Speed, you have no way of dodging certain Unite moves, right? If you get Blasters, Unite move, you just die. If you get Greninja, Unite move, you can't Eject Button out of it, you die. So that's why I still prefer Eject Button. For Dragon Knight, we have Dragon Dance and Hyper Beam, and this is currently my, probably my favorite bit, Muscle Band, Attack Weight, and Focus Band, with Full Heal. Full Heal just allows you to Hyper Beam, and without being CC'd when it comes you know, to Zapdos, Threadnor fights. I think this is all kind of flexible as well. You can go Body Barrier, you can even go Full Damage, go Scope Lens or Weakness Policy here for Full Damage items. I think this is probably the most consistent one. Um, you don't have to go though, you can also go Muscle Band, Scope Lens, Focus Band if you don't like stacking. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, it's also totally fine. Even this is also totally fine. Just complete crit build and just hope that your auto takes lead enemy Pokemon. Um, but my favorite one is currently this build. For Duraladon, if you play jungle, I would recommend Dragon Pulse still with either Stealth Rock or Dragon Tail. Both are totally fine. I think you can just decide looking at the enemy team comp. Do you need mobility? You go, you go Dragon Tail. Do you not, don't need mobility? You go Stealth Rock. With Muscle Band, Scope Lens, and either Focus Band, Body Barrier, or Razor Claw, all are totally fine. I think Focus Band is probably the most consistent one, but the other ones also totally work. And for Battle Item, I would recommend EJ uh, Full Heal because your Unite move gets cancelled easily. And if you want to play Lane Duraladon, I would recommend Flash Cannon with Dragon Tail and these head items. Just You just want to try and one-shot your opponents with X attack. It looks very greedy, but I think this is the way of playing Flash Cannon, Duraladon, and Lane. And yeah, just full crit. Hoping that your flash cannon auto takes crit as well, it will do absolutely crazy damage. Then we have Eldegoss, we have Leaf Tornado and Cotton Guard I think is still the best build, with Muscle Band, Focus Band. You auto take a lot in Eldegoss, so we go Muscle Band, Focus Band for better laning phase. And you're pretty, you have a decent amount of HP, right, on Eldegoss, as you can see, like, games of Focus Band will heal a good amount as well. And the last op uh, slot is open again. I think Buddy Berry is still totally fine to go. Um, if you play with Premace, you can go XP share. You can also still play something like Choice Specs. For more leaf tornado damage and you know just a bit more early game damage also totally fine for metal item you can either go eject button x speed or x attack i think all of those are pretty good probably x speed might be the best one just being able to move around and reposition your seven team fights but yeah, all of those are totally fine to use even x attack just for to see if you want to be very aggressive in laning phase it actually does quite a lot of damage on this pokemon for Espeon, the best build is currently Psyshock and future side and for hit items i like buddy barrier choice specs and vice glass is just going for I mean, this character likes damage, so I'm just going damage items to actually try and de-damage. You can also sub out one of these for Muscle Band, if you just feel like auto-attacking more if you're jungling. Also totally fine, and for a better item, always eject button. You can eject button, unite move into the enemy team. That's all there is to it. And I think the body barrier is just needed. If you eject button, unite into your enemy team, you need that shield, or unstoppable targets will just kill you instantly. For Guard Shop, I think the best bit is Dragon Rush and Dragon Claw, but Earthquake Earth abilities are totally fine as well. They're very even. I think Earth and Earth Ground abilities are a bit easier to use. Dragon Claw does need a bit more skill. Dragon Rush, Dragon Claw for the combo. Must have been Focus Spin. I would always play. And for third item, you have a lot of options. I think Scope Lens is fine. Attack Rate is fine. Buddy Bear is also still fine. Those are all fine items. Um, for Earthquake, I think you just can also go with like, any of those items. I think it's very, very similar. Maybe even Attack Rate or... I mean, it's just kind of like the itemization is kind of weird right now on this Pokemon. Actually, weakness policy. Weakness policy is great as well. I think I always go these and then either weakness policy, 
scope lens, body barrier, attack weight also totally fine. I think in ground probably weakness policy and a dragon bit maybe scope lens because you just want to burst targets down a bit harder while you know weakness policy helps ground chomp to be a bit more sustainy. And for battle item we can either go eject button. I think eject button and dragon rush and dragon claw combo always. And if you play Dick and Earthquake, you can consider going full heal or you can consider going X speed. Gardevoir's best build is the Future Sight and Psychic. You can also recom or like consider going Psy Shock now, but I still prefer Future Sight over it. You can also consider Moonblast if the enemies have a lot of dive Pokemon, but Psychic is a tiny bit better. For head items, I just go Double Glass with Body Barrier. You can also go Focus Band. I think one of those two items you should stay go. I don't like Energy M too much. I saw some people playing Shell Bay just for the special attack and Kuno Reduction. It is for sure something you can maybe consider, but I think Body Barrier is still kind of must have or Focus Band. One gives you better landing phase, the other one gives you better, better team fighting, and for better item, always eject button. I don't see anything else for this Pokemon. Should always be eject button. Gengar's best build, Dream Eater and Shadow Boy with triple glasses and eject button. Triple glasses just you want to get that one shot in Dream Eater and Shadow Ball have pretty good scalings as well. This is all about just one shot in your opponents, and this is the build I would recommend. Green has a changed a bit, but we still play Corbett and Beige. Um, I really like the attack weight weakness policy focus band build that I've seen people play. I even saw some going triple damage item on this Pokemon lately with an energy amp which is also looking quite quite fine. Can even maybe drop the attack weight and just go for a bit like this as well. But I do, I'm do. i a big fan of the attack weight weakness policy and focus band build. Your badges do absolutely crazy damage, your night move do, does crazy damage, we have all the stacks. And it does just a lot of damage together. For head item you go fluffy tail. Being able to get those last hit secures with Unite Move and Fluffy Tail or Beige and Fluffy Tail. Very important, also allows you to invade later into the game and steal some camps away a bit easier. Grinder's best build is the Smoke Screen and Surf with Muscle Band, Scope Lens and currently Attack Weight. Uh, Muscle Band and Scope I feel like are set in stone pretty much always. Um, unless you play, you know, I, I did talk about the Energy and build which is also fine, you can play Energy and Attack Weight. You can also play Scope Lens Attack Weight or Scope Lens Body Barrier Focus Band if you want to be a bit safer. But currently, this is the bit I like the most. Muscle Band, Scope Lens, Attack Weight. But again, I think Energy Amp is also quite good in this slot over here in Self Scope Lens. And for better items, always would recommend Full, uh, full Heal. If you have a good Blissey player or some like, more support, you can go Attack Weight. You can also go Eject... I mean, not Attack Weight. An X Attack, you can also go Eject Button. But Full Heal is still probably the best, because if you get CC'd once, you can adapt. For Hooper, we have Hyper Space Full and Phantom Force currently. Shadow Ball has dropped off a bit. A lot of people play Hyper, Hyper uh, Phantom Force now instead of it. And for head items, you have Muscle Band, Focus Band, and honestly, XP Share. XP Share, probably the third item. Hooper really with this build doesn't farm at all. Hooper's just a support bot that ports people back to base, and that's all that Hooper does. So XP Share actually makes the most sense in this build as a third item. And for battle item, we run also either X Speed, even X Attack is fine for the Unite Move or Eject button, but I would recommend X Speed the most. Lucario's best build is the Extreme Speed and Bone Rush. With Razor Claw, Weakness Policy, and Attack Rate, we just make use of his high scalings and just try to do as much damage as we can. And this build uses a full heal, always. But we can also play Power Punch. Power Punch, um, Bone Rush, Lucario is also totally fine to play. For that, we play Attack Rate. And I personally like Muscle Band and Focus Band in this build. This is a Power Punch, Bone Rush build. I like this one a lot and also can be played. But for this, I would also go Eject Button. I don't really like Close Combat too much anymore, but if you want to play Close Combat, you can either play X Attack or Slow Smoke. With it, and you can also play these items right here: muscle band, weakness policy, and close combat. I mean, attack rate, attack rate for close combat. Yeah, Machamp. We have dynamic punch and close combat. Currently, the best build with muscle band, attack rate, and focus band. Very consistent build. Does a lot of damage. Um, if you don't, not a big fan of attack rate. I think attack rate kind of needs this build a bit. It does a lot. It adds a lot of damage to your build. So I would for sure recommend it. And then focus band just for better landing phase. If you want to go full damage, you can also reconcile like a Razor Claw or something, but Focus Band, or even Energy Amp. Energy Amp is also quite good on this Pokemon, does a lot of damage. And for head item, always Eject Button. The combo of Eject Button, Dynamic Punches is way too good, and we just can't give it up. Also being able to Eject Button into your enemy team and Unite with them, you know, it's just uncontested, the best battle item on Machamp. For Mama Swine, I think currently the best bit is Ice Hacker Crash and High Horse Power, but honestly, I think you can go any abilities on this Pokemon, right? You can go Earthquake, Ice Hacker Crash, you can go Earthquake, Ice Fang, you can go Ice Fang, High Horse Power, all of those are fine. I think this is probably the most consistent build. For head items, I would recommend Body Barrier, Focus Band, and then either Attack Weight or Weakness Policy or Muscle Band. I think all of those are totally fun items. This build actually has pretty good scalings. So attack weight is a thing you can do as well. You can maybe even drop a focus man or body barrier for even one more damage item if you really want to. But uh, I think this is probably the most consistent one you can have with weak, either weakness policy or muscle band. And then we also go battle item eject button again. Nothing else is really there that we can use. So 
For Mr. Mime, best build, Confusion with Guard Swap and Body Barrier Special Specs. I think are items I would always go in this build. Barrier just like is fine. You can also use Barrier, but I think Guard Swap is just better. And for third item, currently like Energy Amp a lot. You can also, if you don't want Energy Amp, go Focus Band. I think those are the two items on this on this uh, on these on the spot. You can also go Choice Specs. Not the best, but it does work as well. So just double damage items. And if you want to be a bit tankier, Focus Band helps you a lot as well. For Battle Item, currently we recommend X Speed. The most, it just allows you to catch up to targets and kite around a bit easier as well. Nine Tails, we still go Gleam and Veil as the number one build. The other build is absolutely fine, I will also talk over it in a second. We play Muscle Band, Focus Band, Body Baron, this build still hasn't changed much, and either we go Eject Button or Exit Attack. Exit Attack is pretty good on this build as well, it just allows your Veil to do even more auto attacks, and it has pretty good. It just, it's just pretty good with Nine Tails. And otherwise, Eject Button always fine too. And if you play Avalanche and Blizzard, is the other, the combo build. We can go Muscle Band and Focus Band, or like um, Muscle Focus and Choice Specs as well for more damage. You can also decide to drop the, the Muscle Band for a Focus Band, or it's totally fine, but I still like Muscle Band too much for the early game damage. It just allows Nine Tails to win early game phase much, much harder. But I would not drop the Body Barrier of this Pokemon. It's just, you only unite into the enemy team, you can then enemy team if you unite move, you need that shield, or you just die. Then we have Pikachu, and Pikachu has, I think, you can pretty much go any combination on this Pokemon. I think the Thunderbolt Thunder is the best, but you can go Thunderbolt Electro Boy, you can go Voltec Electro Boy, you can even go Voltec Thunder. I think all of those are totally fine moves to go, and you can just mix them depending on what you see. So if the enemies are like very ranged heavy, you can go Thunderbolt. If the enemies have a lot of dive Pokemon like Gengar, Absol, Lucario, you can go Voltec and Electro Boy. Electro Boy gives you better last hitting, but Thunder will give you more damage across the entire match. And then we also go... Muscle Band always, Pikachu, very high attack range, so we want to use, make use of that Muscle Band passive. Then we go Body Barrier always. And for third item, we go either Focus Band. Focus Band is very, very strong on this Pokemon as well, just allows your laning phase to be even better. Or Energy Amplifier. Pikachu is still one of the lowest cooldowns in the game when it comes to Unite moves, and also increases his damage by quite a lot. I still like the Focus Band. Choice Specs can be considered, but I think the other two items are a bit superior. And for Battle Item, obviously Jack Button. Um, yeah, obviously check button. I think Slowbro has two builds that are equally good right now. The first one, Sur Surf Telekinesis, for which we play Muscle Band, Focus Band, and Choice Specs. Choice Specs just gives you better early game last hitting. Besides that, there's just not many items that fit Slowbro very well. I mean, in theory, you could go Body Barrier, but it's just not amazing on this Pokemon in this build. So I, th I think this is probably the way to go, and we always go Eject Button. And for the other builds, Guide and Amnesia, also totally fine build. We can go full damage as well. You can. It has very good special attack scalings, so I do like this build a lot. Um, if you don't want the stacking, you can also just stick with the muscle band. This is also totally fine. These are all completely good options. And for this build, you can consider going potion, um, but I still would recommend eject button. Doesn't matter what. Snorlax best build is heavy slam block by far still, and body barrier focus band are the two best items for this Pokemon. And third item, I feel like there's just nothing there currently for this Pokemon. I think Cookie might actually be a way of getting a bit tankier and just making sure you have good frontline. Otherwise, I guess Muscle Band can help you early game. It will help you, you know, last it a bit better as well. It will help you kill Odinos. I think it's totally fine. And if you really have nothing else, you can still go Score Sheet as well. Score Sheet still works on certain Pokemon. It's not amazing, but it can help you win games sometimes if you do like a last man, four man, five man push. You, will, you can get this out. It's pretty good on very tanky Pokemon. So something you can still consider. For better battle item, you can use X Speed with Block. It will completely negate the slow you get from block, so it's quite quite nice. You can heavy slam, pop your X speed, and block people into your team. Otherwise, eject button, also no brainer. So you can you do heavy slam into eject button and reach enemy backliners much more easier. For Sylveon, best build, Car Mind and Hyper Voice still. Yeah, I made a Mystical Fire video, but Hyper Voice, my mind is just the best. With Choice Specs, Vice Glasses, Hyper Voice has very good scalings, and Sylveon does get a lot from getting more special attack, so we want to use this combination. And for the third item, I would recommend Focus Band. You can also consider Special Specs, but it's quite hard to stack on this Pokemon, so I do recommend the Focus Band over it. And for Head Item, we go XP just to make sure that our Hyper Voice is even easier to land. Town of Flame, Fly Flame Chat, I think is currently the best build for him. Aerial Ace and Brave Bird did receive a good amount of nerfs, and yeah. For head items, Razor Claw I think is very good on this Pokemon, doesn't matter what. He has very low cooldowns on his Flame Charge as well, very high basic attack. For other head items, I think Energy and Body Barrier is quite quite good. It just still allows you to spam your Nightmove quite often. If you don't like this, you can also go Attack Rate. I would still always recommend Body Barrier. If you don't have Body Barrier, you kind of just die going into your Nightmove a lot of times. So, we we'll still recommend this as well. And you can even play this as well. Focus Band, Body Barrier, and... Razor Claw, and if you still want to split push a bit, I think a Scorchy can also still work on this Pokemon. 
But I think this one is pretty solid. For better items, the eject button. You can eject button behind your, your uh, enemies with your ignite move and knock them further into your team. You can also still fly eject button onto your opponents. So eject button still must have. Trevenant's best build, Curse and Horn Leech. By far, nothing, you shouldn't play anything else. For head items, attack rate, Curse has very good scalings with attack rate, and it's much better than weakness policy. Two or three stacks of attack rate will already outweigh your weakness policy, so that's why we play this. For, and we always go focus band, it's just a Pokemon that has always plays very, plays around like low HP and early game power spikes, so focus band helps us a lot. It's also tanks, so right, we have a lot of HP on our Pokemon, so Focus Band will heal us a lot in late game fights. For third item, there we can either go Weakness Policy or Muscle Band or Body Barrier. If you want to be a bit more frontline, you can go Body Barrier. If you want to have more early game, you go Muscle Band and more like, you know, consistent damage. Otherwise, Weakness Policy, since you have Attack Rate, also works well together. Otherwise, Battle Item, always Eject Button. You can Eject Button, Horn Leech, and it's just like a very good combo. Serena's current best build is Stomp and Grassy Glide or Dropkick. I think both are totally fine. Against more ranged heavy teams, I would recommend Grassy Glide. Against more melee heavy teams, Dropkick is totally fine as well. And we always go Attack Weight. Stomp needs Attack Weight to do a lot of damage with. Focus Band is our second head item. It's also very strong for like landing phase and keeps Serena alive. And then Weakness Policy for the third item. Since we have Attack Weight, we're going to have a lot of basic attack damage, even of the last buff. So Weakness Policy increases our damage by quite a lot. And for her bad head item, we go either better. Um, eject button or full heal. Both are totally fine. I currently prefer eject button a bit, but fully is also very, very strong. Venusaur has currently two good builds. Depends just on what you want to play. Do you want to play melee Venusaur, 1v9, carry Venusaur, you play Petted Dance and Giga Drain with Muscle Band, Focus Band, and Body Barrier, and full heal. So the best item build for this Pokemon, even after the Body Barrier nerfs. And for the other build, we play Stay Giga Drain, I would recommend, and Solar Beam. I really don't like Sludge Bomb, I think Gear Drain is just a tiny bit better. And we play Muscle Band with Focus Band and Choice Specs in this build. Energy M could also work if you want to go full damage, but I do think the Focus Band is quite quite nice, at least having some survivability when you get ganked in early game. And it's also got value with Gear Drain. It will help you stay long on teamfights. You know, having a reduced damage thing will make healing more effective on a Pokemon, right? So Focus Band can get good value on this Pokemon. And here we play Eject Button always. We don't play full here in this, we want to stay far back and we just want to dodge something with the eject button to make sure we don't die. For Weekly Tough, we have Sing and Gleam with Body Barrier Focus Band. I think still Score Sheet as well. It's just one of the Pokemon that doesn't really have good other items for this build, so I still would recommend Score Sheet. Otherwise, I think the only thing is maybe a Muscle Band for better early game damage, but I think Score Sheet is still totally fine to play on this Pokemon. And we either play Eject Button or X Speed. I think Eject Button is a bit better. You can surprise your opponents a bit more by Eject Buttoning into the enemy backline late game fights or in mid game fights. And it can help you just catch them off guard. And for the last Pokemon is Aura. I still think the best bit is Void Switch and Discharge, which, you know, the other one is Spark and Bite Charge, which is also totally fine. I think both are probably equally good. I just like Void Switch and Discharge a tiny bit more. For head items, I like Muscle Band, Weakness Policy, and Body Barrier with Eject Button. But those can all be changed. Like, their aura can pretty much use almost any head item. Um, you can also easily go a Energy Amp and Weakness Policy bit. I think it's just kind of like damage outside of his Unite move. So I do still like the Muscle Band. You can also go Focus Band, Body Barrier, Muscle Band, if you just want to be very consistent and have just very good head items. So all of these are totally fine. You also don't have to necessarily play Body Barrier. You can also change it out for Weakness Policy. Um, or an attack rate, you know, or a scope lens or razor claw. All those are very good items on this Pokemon. And honestly, it just comes down to what you play or what you want to play. But honestly, I think, you know, the body bear muscle band and then either focus band or another damage item weakness policy is like the most reasonable build for the aura. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.